I want to highlight um, a couple of little things with boundaries. Um, in this example, I'm just going to use a raster tool path and a selected surface boundary. Um, so you can see in this example, I've got um, a few random surfaces selected and I've created a, a selected surface boundary. And the reason we use selected surface boundaries when we're doing uh, surface machining is because it allows nicely for the tool radius so it rolls over the edges. Okay, so um, let me create a uh, simple um, raster finishing tool path uh, on these in these boundaries. Um, so we go down, we'll find a raster finishing. So okay to that. And let's give it a relatively small step over, um, let's say um, half a millimeter, something like that. And let's just hit calculate. Okay, so let's undraw the leads and the links so we can see a little bit clearer. Okay, so you'll notice that the tool path um, has fitted nicely inside those boundaries and again, allowing for the radius of the tool because again, we're using selected surface boundaries. Now with raster finishing, by default, this fixed direction is ticked on. So we can control the angle of the tool path. So if I put 45 degrees in there, obviously we get a 45 degree pass in the boundaries. Now what I tend to do is I tend to untick the fixed direction and what raster machining and permal will attempt to do is it will put the direction of the raster in the most efficient direction within the boundary. So if I calculate that tool path there, you can see that in the longer boundaries, we've gone this direction rather than short passes in that direction and likewise with the others we can see there. So it intelligently looks at the boundary and, and it always um, machines in the longest direction. Now, another little trick, um, which people actually don't realize we can do, is if we only want to machine, let's say, for example, these three faces here, I've seen people, I've seen people copy the boundary, delete the elements that they're not needed, or even create new boundaries just for those three areas. Now, because we're using the same size tool, um, and we, we've got the same surfaces, all we need to do really is just select the boundaries that we're interested in machining, and it will only machine the selected boundaries. Okay, so likewise, if we now clone that tool path, I could select this one and calculate. So I don't have to create new boundaries. So we've still only got the one boundary in the tree, but we have several tool paths associated with that boundary.